Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Tales of Eternia. Last time we took a tour of the town of Iman and left Farah in the uh, in Meredith's house. So we'll go ahead and uh, check up on Farah now and see what she's up to. Let us call it a day. Hey Meredith, is there anything else to see? Nope, nothing. Oh, actually, there's an old library outside town, but it's not very interesting. Library? There's nothing more fascinating to me than a library. Please, take me there. Uh, um, okay, what do you want to do, Reed? Sorry, but I'm tired. I'm gonna call it a day. Sure, good night. Good night, Merity and Keel, as they go run off and check the sites of the Whoa, local library. It's a dark. Let's see here. Oh, where's the light? Farah, What's wrong? Why- Oh, no reason. I was just... I was just thinking. So much has happened. Merity falling from the sky, meeting the greater Kramos, climbing Mount Farlos. We, we beat the royal soldiers and made it all the way to Celestia. I, I feel so... So completely lost. Why... Why am I trying to help Merity? That, that's your nature. You're the kind of person that just can't sit and watch people in trouble, right? I, I don't know. I've always used that as an excuse. Not thinking. Just acting on instinct. But, but maybe it's just like Rass said. Maybe I'm just running away. From what? I, I don't know. I don't even know myself. I don't trust myself. R Ras couldn't get himself to take the final swing. I, I was defenseless. He had plenty of chances to counter my attack, but he never did. I, I think he was doubting himself. Even with all of his intellect and power, he still doubted himself. There... There isn't a person alive who knows everything about himself. You can't always know what's right or wrong. Yeah, I guess so. Be besides, it's... It's unlikely to think so hard. You might break something in there. What did you say? You're gonna get it. I'm... I'm going to sleep. Good night. Good... Good night. Read. Alright, so... Let's read for you. Just sits there and pokes fun at Merity. That's the relationship that... Not Merity. <laughs> what, am, where am I, what am I thinking? I'm thinking Farah. Yes, Farah. That's uh, Reed's and Farah's relationship. Just sit there. Kind of like the uh, brother and sister type. Alright, so, let's go check up on uh, Merity and Keel and see where they are. Hey, come on in. Have you seen uh, Merity or Keel lately, Farah? Did you sleep well? Yeah, it was a good night's sleep. I feel so much better. Oh, that's good to hear. Uh, Keel hasn't come back yet. Um, where's Merity? She hasn't come back since last night. I'm gonna go look for them. Why, just leave them alone. They'll eventually come back. No, we have to go look. Eh, apparently Keel and Merity are in danger. Or trouble, or something like that. Anyway, grab the striped ribbon. It's actually pretty good. And what the crap is this? This wasn't here before. Oh, Hello, Wonder Chef. Did you figure out a way to cross the Bridge of Light as well? Hmm. I'll show you how to make the Western style sweet rice. It actually is pretty darn good. I like sweet rice myself, so. Anyway, Wonder Chef, we'll be seeing you again much, much later. Hopefully. You go with me, right? Yeah, I guess so. I don't think. Keel need wants to be bothered. 
Last time I heard, he was over at the library. So let's go check over here. Library's off in a weird place, so. Hey, what's going on? Blah, 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 blah. Melnix, yawn. Oh no, Merity. What are you doing? You're just like falling asleep. Yeah, hmm, I see. This word means change. Keel, what have you been doing? Have you been up here all night? Oh, yeah, what is it? What is it? Have you forced Merity to stay up with you long enough? I had many questions concerning Celestian culture. We had a fascinating talk, didn't we? You bet. <sighs> it's already morning. Morning already? Well, good. I'm just about finished here. Morning. That was fast. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you fell over and went to sleep. Hey, what's wrong? Merity, she hasn't had enough sleep lately. Keel, you forced her to stay up all night and all that. Now we have to carry her back to her house and nurse her back to health and let her get some rest. Eh, yeah, don't worry, she's fast asleep. I'm sure she's pretty exhausted. Well, that's good. Better be sorry, Keel. Trying to sit there and make Merity fall asleep. Anyway. Well, I'm very grateful for that. She must have been really happy that you showed an interest in Celestia and all. Especially because of all that's happened until now. Especially since you didn't believe Merity in the first place, Keel. I finally understand what Professor Mazette meant by what he said. What did he say? Pursue the unknowable. Books in the university can't possibly teach you everything there is to know. So use your own eyes to see the world. Hmm. That sounds pretty darn good advice. Anyway, let's go, uh, let's get ready so we can leave soon as Merity wakes up. Let's eat, too. Yeah, read you and your bottomless stomach. Bottomless pit of a stomach. Uh, Merity, are you okay? Looks like you just passed out right in the middle of the room and talking in your sleep, apparently. What is that? An phone. Pe uh, can talk to people very far away. Is that Celestian technology too? Yes, Galanos invented it. The phone is only at Luishka and here now. Galanos, Luishka? I don't understand. Explain. Keel, those are proper nouns. Galanos is a person, Luishka is a place. Uh, you will understand when we go. Right now? Yes, he is in a village called Luishka, as I could have told you. We will go see Galanos, the person. Galanos is studying how to defeat Belir. He is friend. He helped Merity sent to inf send. He helped Merity. He helps send Merity to Inferia. Can I read properly, you two? Okay, so apparently he was the guy in the opening cutscene. So, yay, he was the one who uh, designed that Cramel craft that Merity was brought to Inferia in. And so let's go ahead and find him. We have to go take the train through uh, Dragon Rock Pass, I think it's called. Uh, but before we go... I'm going to go visit the weapon shop, since I have all the people in my party. And, uh, real quick, I'm going to equip, equip, equip Farah with the striped ribbon. And anything else. No, I think that's it. Alright. So, let's grab some weapons. Yes, we will buy... Uh, what, what do I want to buy? See, there's the saw saber, 355, 370, accuracy goes down just a tad. Hmm. Bardis. I think I'll stick with Bardis. Uh, go with Bardis. Gladius. Uh, Silver Knuckles. Ruby Wand. Splint Mail. Dual Helm, Striped Ribbon, Fine Shield. And we just basically 
ran out of all of our all of our money. If I can think properly. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave the Omega Shield on. I forgot. Omega Shield uh, does have the healing effect on it. So, and then there's Silver Knuckles. Yes, very interesting seeing me equip stuff on my party. Whee! And we'll probably sell stuff in the next area since we can do that. Uh, pretty much any time we want. Anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, blow this popsicle stand and get our way over to Luishka so we can talk to Galanos. What's going on? Merity, wait! Yes, is something wrong, Hamilt? Are you going somewhere with them again? You bet, Merity, leaving again for a while. I see. <laughs> yes, try to hurry back, okay? I'm going to finish training as soon as possible, and I'll... Yes. I'm going to make you a custom-made weapon that fits you perfectly. Wow, thanks, Hamilt. Merdy cannot wait. Well, so long for now. Oh, my Keel, you are so clueless about that. Uh, at least uh, Reed isn't as dense as he uh, looks, or actually is. Hello, battle. We actually get to see what uh, battles are in uh, Celestia if I can actually attack with these guys. Woohoo! We get eruption, and we might even see Ifrit, which we. Yep, we did. Which we probably saw beforehand, but whatever, I'll let it show it again since the summons are actually pretty darn cool in this game. And they go by really darn quick, too, so. Air thrust! Alright, good level up there, guys. Alright, so we are going to be heading to this white dot over here to the east of us, which is actually a the train station of which you know what screw holy bottles I'm just gonna go from stuff this is the train station which will uh, allow us to ride the train and go to Luishka whoa seems like a lonely station and we got an awesome music bed playing in the background it's more actiony than I would have expected for this area but whatever uh, so, this is a train, and this is a rock. You bet, we can ride this to Luishka. We'll go, you, yeah, to go wherever you want. That's some wishful thinking. The real world ain't like that. What? Are you telling us you can't ride on this train? A train don't move on its own. If you want to ride, bring some fuel. Uh, fuel, huh? Maybe we can find some in Iman. Of course, we shall go back to Iman in the next episode to pick up fuel for this train, guys. Until then, I shall see you later, and I'm going to listen to some more of this cool music. Anyway, this is Yuti Young for this, signing off, saying, keep things frosty.